This story takes us back to the 1950s and 60s when China was helping newly independent countries in Africa to create train systems and thus the beginnings of the major infrastructure we still see there today. Trains are something special to the Chinese people and the way they engage with the world, like the first transcontinental railroad in the United States, which Chinese laborers built in the 1860s. They gave their work and in some cases sacrificed their lives to connect the American East and West Coasts by train for the very first time. So it's fitting that after giving so much to others, China should finally have its own rail network that is high speed, world class and a brainchild of magnetic levitation technology. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current. Travelling by bullet train allows hundreds of millions of people to be home with their families at major points during the year like the Spring Festival and other big holidays in May and October. Of course, it also means quick, efficient and affordable ways to get around than say boarding a plane or a bus. In an early episode of The China Current, I brought you on board the high-speed train that takes you from Hong Kong to Shenzhen in under 10 minutes, a journey that once took hours, not only due to slow overland trains, but also the walk to the border and checking through with a passport. Now that process has been streamlined to an experience that is quick or even quicker than walking down the road. Trains are critical to the running of any economy, including the world's second largest economy. In addition to passengers, they transport goods to and from every corner of the nation, as well as people on their daily and weekly commutes, which means more people have more choice in where they work and how they can reorganize their family lives. The first high-speed train in China took to the tracks only in 2008, the year Beijing hosted the Summer Olympics. This was much later than Japan, which had its first bullet train in 1964, or Germany, when that service began 30 years ago in 1991. But already, the high-speed network in China is the world's most expansive, with 37,000 kilometers of track. Railway innovation is pushing the front lines forward all the time. China now has plans to be the first nation to deploy improved superconducting maglev trains that will be the world's fastest on record. This technology, named for its use of magnets to levitate the train off the ground, is not only speedy but environmentally friendly. It's calculated to use 30% less energy than current high-speed models. This design that incredibly makes no physical contact with the track also minimizes the risk of derailment, making travel safe and possible in extreme weather conditions while offering real comfort by emitting less noise. While these new projects provide a glimpse into the future, the cost is high. Just 30 kilometers of track cost 9 billion yuan or 1.3 billion US dollars, but is viewed as worth it. This year, even during a pandemic, the world's first high-temperature superconducting high-speed maglev train was unveiled in Chengdu, the historic home of the giant panda. It can reach speeds of 600 km per hour, twice as fast as the current high-speed trains, with 1,000 km per hour to be safely achieved soon. The plan is to split the maglev network into two branches connecting Beijing, Hong Kong, Macau, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou. This is truly state-of-the-art and plays a big role in connecting city to city and people to people like never ever before. I am James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.